We have trouble passing minimum wage increase sometimes and paid sick days for workers because employers are concerned about what the impact is on them and the current state of the economy. And part of that problem is that we're not having a more global conversation about how we can take care of our workers by paying them a living and fair wage and giving them paid sick leave benefits. At the same time, having a conversation about how to support our business climate and be better for our businesses. We could tomorrow in this state close a corporate tax loophole that currently exists that allows some of our largest corporations to not pay one penny in state income taxes because they have tricky accountants that set themselves up as a company that exists in other states and so they pay taxes in a state like Delaware where it's cheaper and avoid paying any taxes here at all. If we instead said that no, you have to pay just like everyone else, and we took that money and absorbed it into a small business reserve fund and set it aside as money specifically to give tax credits to small business owners who we know are the backbone of the economy and creating so many of our businesses in, in, from Chestertown to Rock Hall to Easton and, and all across the bridge throughout this state. Our small businesses are the backbone of the economy. We can stop having winners and losers conversations and start talking about how everyone can be a winner. When we broaden the conversation and think about what do we need to do to bring someone new to the table on how they can benefit at the same time that we can bring another person to the table to benefit and think creatively and innovatively about how we go about solving these solutions. And sometimes it's <clears throat> being creative about how to leverage resources from other places. 